Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I know it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, I've been pretty busy with life, you know, just working and normal stuff. But I did get a brand new Steam Deck. This, uh, as you guys can see here, this is the 399 model. I actually got a discount at 10% off. Um, they had a Steam sale, uh, so I ended up paying like 350 for it. So I ended up getting the, this is called the Kill Switch case by D brand. It's really, really nice. It comes with like a kickstand, that's that's why it's like leaning like that. And I also got the skin here, you know, this is like a, it's called the Obsidian. And it's like a, it's a really nice uh, skin, I think. It looks really nice and it feels, it's very solid. It was easy to put on. And um, so I just wanted to make like a, a little review about the Steam Deck and why I think uh, it completely replaced my Nintendo Switch. I still have my Nintendo Switch here somewhere, but it's uh, you know the this this thing compared to the Switch is like I thought the Switch was really nice because so you know you can play a lot of really great games, but this thing just blows it out of the water. The main reason is because of like I would say there's many. Uh, I'll start first with the the actual design of the system. Uh, it's hard to tell here, but it is kind of big compared to the Switch. Uh, but you guys can see here that it's like the... I have a lot... I let some friends play it. My friend Sasha. Sasha, if you're watching me, shout out to you. Uh, the way you handle the... You know, the handles are really nice and comfortable overall. The system... You know, I really like where the D-pad is here. I never thought it would make a big difference, but it actually does. Uh, these pads here, I forgot what they're called, but they're, I, I don't really use them that much because well, I, I play, most of the games I play are like, you know, just standard, uh, but they're good if you're playing like, for example, real-time strategy games, uh, but besides that, there's, uh, let's see what else there is uh, here, um, I got the 64 gigabyte version of the Steam Deck, which was the cheapest one, but I sw I ended up getting a uh, the one terabyte uh, what is it the hard drive, and it's not that really hard to replace. I replaced it within ten minutes maybe. I just watched like a YouTube video and I watched it many times just to make sure that I didn't miss anything, and that was it. You know, I replaced the I have a one terabyte. Let me let me go into my configurations here so you can see. I have my settings here. Let's see. Let's go into storage. And like I have about okay, so I have about 500 about 6 yeah, about 500 and something of gigabytes of games and I still have uh 342 gigs left. And these are, I have a lot of games, like these are only the, the games that I have installed, but I have more games on my uh, emu deck, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. So I have Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, Doom, Ace Combat, Days Gone, Middle Earth, Star Wars, Halo, the Master Chief Collection was really nice. I have the Resident Evil games too, uh, No Man's Sky, and I'm currently playing uh, Fallout New Vegas, which is a really, really fun game. I didn't think it was gonna be that much. Uh, I never played a Fallout game before, and uh, I read that this was the best one to get, so I'm pretty happy with that one. But yeah, let me uh, talk a little bit about my the system interference is really nice of the of the Steam Deck. Let me go into my library here so I can show you guys my games. All right, so here's Ace Combat. Uh, so these are the games that I really play really well and smooth on the deck. I found most of them play really well, you know, but obviously if they're verified that means like they play the best. Then you have uh, games for example, I have uh, some games like Halo uh, and Red Dead Redemption. Those, I mean they're, they're playable, I, I really don't find any issues with them. Uh, sometimes they're just the text is just a little bit hard to read, but that's it, you know. Um, because the text originally was already like super small even on the big screen was difficult to read so these are my steam games and then I have my collections of uh, emu deck is amazing guys 
I found it to be like one of the best things from you know for, for this system. So I'll just go through my collection here. These are games that I actually pay for and I own uh, on various on many systems, you know. So I have like Game Boy Advance games, GameCube, uh, Nintendo games, uh, PlayStation 2, PSP, Nintendo 64, and I'm telling you guys, they play really. They feel like much better uh, somehow. I don't know why. I don't know if the emulator does anything but they play really well I've been playing like a lot of games that I missed out on the Star Wars The Rogue Squadron that game is so fun uh, Star Fox 64 the OG it plays really nice all of them the SOCOM games you know uh, these are the games that I grew up with uh, playing I have like the Zelda games and stuff like that so it's nice to have the you know, you have ver you have everything. So imagine I have my my Game Boy Advance collection, my GameCube, 3DS. The 3DS games are tricky because you know they obviously you need two screens for that. Uh, I don't wanna I don't wanna show you now because of, I'm playing uh, my game right now. Uh, but there's configuration so you can have the big screen where you're like actually playing here, the small one here, and then you just switch back and forth. Uh, so it's uh, it's incredible guys uh, I'm really happy with the system uh, so I pay uh, about 350 for that about a hundred and twenty dollars for the SSD uh, hard drive so that's for one terabyte and then I pay like I think I pay like a hundred dollars for the whole uh, kill switch uh, you know the the whole case and the stand and everything but I think it was worth it because that this is like my main machine now. This is the only uh, system that I play now. I have my Switch. I could even put my whole Switch collection on this thing if I wanted. Because I own the games digital. You know, and I can just uh, run them on... Uh, there's an emulator called Yusu. Uh, I haven't done it, but uh, because, you know, it's just uh, convenient to have two systems here. And even though I got Tears of the Kingdom, like, I just don't find, you know, I'm going to make a review for that later, for that game specifically. But I don't find that game any entertaining at all, to be honest with you. Uh, compared to Breath of the Wild, you know, it felt like a, like a new game, everything was like new. But, you know, I just find uh, Tears of the Kingdom to be just an expansion of the original Breath of the Wild. So I haven't even played it that much. I mean, I played like 20 hours or so, but I've been playing Fallout uh, New Vegas more than when on my any of my other games more than Tears of the Kingdom. So yeah, yeah as you guys can see, and I recently just got a Cyberpunk uh, and The Witcher, so I can't wait to play those. I love The Witcher 3. That was like a really fun game, and um, yeah, the performance is great. For example, this game, uh, New Vegas, it's like it plays, you know, it plays really well. I haven't seen any crashes, nothing. The play just, uh, the game just plays incredible. No Man's Sky plays really good too. Ace Combat 7, all of them play incredible. I, n I haven't had any issues with them. And uh, the one I was having a little bit of issues was uh, the Halo collection, but that's because uh, there's something with the you know with the specifically with Halo uh, the original even on the computer you have issues with that game but besides that like I haven't had any issues with this uh, system at all yes it plays really well the performance is great and uh, I think the price if you guys consider so I spent 350 plus 120 you know that's like about I'm terrible in math but you know that's like about 500 plus the little case and everything let's say let's just put leave it at six hundred dollars I spend for the whole thing and I you know I, I all the games I get I get them on sale on Steam so I get them really cheap I never buy a game like that's like brand new or anything cuz I just keep building my backlog of games and I have all my games in here so <laughs> you know like what else do I need you know like everything in one system it's uh, for me it's great so 
I highly, highly recommend the Steam Deck, guys. It's a fun system. Uh, I think it's the best one I own from out of all of them that I have had. You know, even my I love the the original uh, Game Boy Advance, the PSP. All those were like great systems, but like this one just blows them out of the water. Just the technology, you know. This is how you do it. This is how you're supposed to do it. And I was gonna get the One X Player too. I was gonna get the One X Player 2 or the Aya Neo. But you know when I saw that you only gain like about 10 frames per second overall and perhaps just a slightly you know a uh, higher resolution, I don't think it's worth to spend like close to a thousand dollars, you know. That's just the minimum, like one thousand dollars for those type of systems. When you can just you know, I blew like six hundred dollars but I got everything on the for this, you know. So that's my personal opinion, of course, you know, I don't know what you guys uh, would do, but I really recommend the Steam Deck to you guys. Um, I would like rate it a, a solid 9.5 out of 10, just because uh, I think it's like a, it plays everything. <laughs> it plays everything and it's highly customizable, so you can just switch everything around. You can get many aftermarket products for it too. I haven't gotten anything besides the case. And you know, I have a screen protector and everything. But you know, I'm happy with that. My one terabyte drive should be enough to last me until they, they come out with like a second one or whatever. But so far, I'm pretty happy. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the system. I think it's an incredible piece of hardware. And I'll be definitely be comparing. Do I'll do like a comparison video with the Switch. I still think the Switch is a nice piece of technology and perhaps the best uh, system Nintendo put out ever because of you know how great it is in, in terms of software and hardware too. Uh, but the Steam Deck, you know, it's just uh, unfortunately the Switch is a bit out. It's it's not a bit. It is very outdated. And just the switch, you know, the Steam Deck just kills it completely, you know. So let me know what you guys think, and I hope you guys enjoy this review, okay? Thank you, bye-bye.